Today we're going to be talking about an anime niche genre called Yandere and how a young woman stabbed her boyfriend out of love. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take a look at what's happening in social media or the YouTube community and try to see what lessons we can learn from them. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And while you're at it, if you haven't yet, make sure you're following me over on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul. I love interacting with all of you beautiful people and I announce different updates and everything like that, like the brand new podcast. So make sure that you stay tuned over on social media. All right, so let's get started with this story, all right? And I will be talking about Yandiri Simulator, and by the way, I might mispronounce a lot of words in this video, but bear with me. But anyways, last night, I, I went down this rabbit hole because my beautiful girlfriend, Tristan, was sitting there. She's like, did you hear this story about this you, 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 no chan person? I'm like, no, what, what's going on? And she showed me what was happening on Twitter. And I'm like, oh my God, like what? What is happening? So the first thing, before I dive into the story, let's talk about what Yandiri is because this is something that I had no clue of. So you watching this, you might not have a clue either. All right, and I'm gonna be reading this from a Medium article that actually covered this story and I'll link that down in the description, but it says, Yandiri is a portmanteau of two Japanese words. The first is Yandiru, which means to be sick. And the second is Deradir, used for love struck. Uh, Yandire is often a sweet, caring, and innocent before switching into someone who displays an extreme, often violent or psychotic level of devotion to a love interest. Such behavior might include brutally murdering other girls out of jealousy. All right, so like you have the anime genre and yeah, this is part of it, okay? And this is this is just something we need to consider is when fiction starts bleeding over into reality. So this young woman, Yu 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 No Chan, her Instagram is blowing up. There's so many parts of the story that just confuse me about human behavior. But basically, this young woman stabbed her boyfriend, okay? She stabbed her boyfriend out of love. All right, and after or at the crime scene, they found like she wrote in blood like a ton of times, like I like you and I like you so much, I want to kill you and all of these things. And this led to this young woman actually stabbing this man. And I'm not going to show you the actual picture of it, which is being spread all over the internet. But anyways, when the police showed up, she was sitting there covered in blood with this young man stabbed and bleeding out next to her and she's like on the phone smoking a cigarette, all right? So this crime just in and of itself is completely messed up, all right? And this is something that you see just with toxic relationships. And what's what was interesting about this, this story and just even this niche or this genre is you typically see like men doing things like this. Like there are men who stab or shoot or just kill their lover in this toxic relationship. But now it's almost being fetishized with this story of this young woman. And here's what I mean by that, all right? So as I was looking through this, like the, the Twitter comments about it, um, this girl's Instagram, this girl just got locked up. She just went to jail for stabbing her boyfriend. The, the man is currently in critical condition in the hospital. But anyways, her Instagram blew up. She has almost 50,000 followers on Instagram now, and these are fans, okay? And like, we need to understand, these are real people. Like, these are real human beings. These are people with moms and dads and sisters and brothers and other friends and colleagues, people who know these people and love and care about them. And that's just something that's twisted about the internet. There is such a disconnect, right? Like, I am all for technology and connecting with other people and everything like that, but 
it is seen, like we can see it with our own eyes, how people are disconnecting from what's actually happening. You see it all the time on YouTube. You forget that the people who are making videos are real human beings. Like these are real people. So this young woman is a real person who stabbed a real person, all right? So aside from that, aside from her just gaining a ton of followers, people started making fan art of her, okay? Like people are like, oh my God, this, this young woman is so cool and amazing and cute and ha ha ha. Like she stabbed this guy and then she was going to, to her original plan was a murder uh, suicide. That was her original plan. And people are romanticizing this, like it's sick. Like I'll try to put some comments up on the screen here, but there were like people saying like, oh, I wish you would stab me, he 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 and stuff. I'm like, what, what is happening? All right, like actually from this Medium article, somebody posted something from uh, a Facebook group and it was this. Can you believe that they attacked me on Twitter just because I said the amount of emotions that let her do? That was cute and no one agreed with me. Why the nice weaves are just excite on Facebook? I'm not sure everything that that said, but, but like, what? What? Like, they're like, wow, I can't believe I got so many negative comments for, for like, turning this, this attempted murderer into a hero. Like, what is happening? Like, as I was watching this, I'll go down and play out. I was talking to Tristan. Like, I have a 10 year old son, and I'm sitting there, and I'm just like, like, if I caught my son, like, romanticizing this stuff, like, we would have a lot of serious talks. And if the talks didn't work, me and my son would go find a therapist for him. Because this is not cool. This is not normal. So anyways, after doing some uh, further research, and actually somebody on Twitter reached out to me and actually gave me a lot of information, I ended up talking to her. Um, at boy thighs, so shout out to you. But like she was telling me like, this is a whole culture and there's like a video game and everything like that. So yeah, there's a video game called Yandiri Simulator. And my girlfriend let me know that PewDiePie actually pl played this back in the day. And it's a game where you're, you're playing this out. Like you're a young schoolgirl and you like kill people out of jealousy and things like that. Like I'm thinking about like downloading it and checking it out and maybe like, doing a review of it. So if that's something you're interested in, let me know down in the comments below. But like, here's, here's the thing, and here's where I get personally conflicted. All right, like I grew up, I grew up watching all sorts of stuff. Like um, I watched like rated R movies and action movies at a very young age. I have played video games most of my life. I think my first video game system, I was like, five years old, like the old school Nintendo um, system. And like, I've played violent video games, watched violent movies and everything like that, but it never turned me into a violent person. And studies have shown, like studies have shown that like violent video games don't necessarily make violent individuals. The same thing with music. But then there are these like fringe stories like this, and then realizing there's an entire community and culture out there who romanticizes this and props up, you know, people who are struggling with like severe mental illnesses that is leading them to stab people. Like I'm sitting here and I'm just like, it makes me question it. It makes me question like, okay, who is being affected by these? Now I will give my opinion and maybe I'll do some more research on this and do a follow up video, but here's my opinion on it. It's similar to that mob mentality and that group think, right? And this can happen. So when you find a group of people who is into this genre and you you can relate to those feelings of loving someone so much, or maybe, you know, uh, you, you just like some stories that are involving Yandiri, like the fictional stories, but then you put these people together in a group and some very scary things start happening, all right? And we've seen this, we've seen this with some of the like, the mass shootings that have happened, you know, like like the one recently in New Zealand, like this dude was part of a group, you know, like he was part of a group. And when you put people into a group like that who are struggling with mental illness or have this insane ideology, 
some crazy things can happen. So I guess to end this video, I'll say this, like, I feel a lot of the responsibility is on us parents to know what our kids are doing online, what groups they're a part of and everything like that. Like right now my son's 10 and he pretty much just plays video games like with other kids, you know, they play Fortnite and everything. I listen to what they're saying. Sometimes I even play with them so I can hear what his little, you know, online friends are like and everything like that. But we need to know what kind of groups they're getting involved in and all that. And like, I was telling Tristan last night, like I'm 33 years old and I never thought I'd be that guy. I never thought I'd be like that old dude Dude, that father who was like, we need to check in on our kids and see what's happening, right? But the reality is too, it's not just children. We are seeing people in their 20s and 30s and maybe even older as part of these groups. But anyways, I do want to research this more and different like anime culture communities and things like that. Like um, that, that young lady, uh, Boy's Thighs, who was informing me about this stuff. Like there's a lot of stuff going on and it seems like not that many people are talking about it. So if you have any experience with this or you know of any other groups out there who are romanticizing or even fetishizing some of these awful, terrible behaviors, like let me know down in the comments because I've kind of dove in into this like, rabbit hole and I'm trying to learn more about it. So let me know. All right. But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And while you're at it, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul so you can keep up to date with all my new announcements. And before I let you go, I want to send out a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You're all amazing. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.